If you have not subscribed but my channel yet, do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload my new video. You will get the notification and do like and share my videos. Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Skill Forum. So this is, this video is for mechanical engineering students and in this video I am going to cover uh, derivation of uh, beam strength of a spur gear and that is also called as Levi's equation. So in the previous video I have uh, explained uh, about the uh, basics about the spur gear and uh, basics about the Levi's equation. So in this video I am going to derive uh, the Levi's equation. So here you can observe so here we have a gear teeth so this is the normal load uh, which is going to apply on a gear teeth so with respect to this normal load two components uh, co two force com force components will develop that is ft and fr so fr is nothing but a, a radial force so which develops the compressive stresses and ft is nothing but the tangential load which develops the bending stress okay so since uh, the stresses developed due to a uh, radial forces those are compressive stresses those are negligible so that's why the levis has uh, neglected the compressive stresses okay so next we need to consider only the tangential load which gives the bending strength of a spur gear okay so here so t be the thickness of the gear and uh, h be the height of the gear teeth and b be the face width of a spur gear teeth okay so here we so uh, to design the spur gear we need to consider the bending stresses the maximum bending stress with respect to bc b the so what is the maximum bending stress that is sigma is equal to m by i into c so this is the equation one we can say this is equation one okay so this is the equation one where m be the maximum bending moment with respect to bc that is maximum bending moment m is nothing but perpendicular load into distance so this is not b this is h okay so that is so ft into h got it so next we have i be the moment of inertia that is i is equal to bt cube by bt cube by 12 so bt cube by 12 so this is the so i think you all know about the uh, moment of inertia equation for a beam so next c is nothing but t by 2 so better i will write this c value c is nothing but the so what we need to do next we need to substitute all these equations so substitute all in equation 1 right. therefore this equation becomes sigma is equal to what is m ft into h what is c that is t by 2 and this is bt cube by 12 right so once we simplify it it will become sigma is equal to so this t it will get cancelled this is 6 right so the sigma becomes ft sorry ft into 6h divided by bt square therefore we will get 
एफ टी इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा इंटू बी टी स्क्वायर बाय सिक्स हेच ओके सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन वी विल गेट वंस वी सिंप्लीफाई इट सो व्हाट यू नीड टू डू इज सो वी नीड टू सो हियर the the value of t and h depends on depends on teeth profile profile and circular pitch therefore t square by 6h can be replaced by so t square by 6h can be replaced by p y so that is t square by 6h is equal to p y so what we need to do is here एफ टी बिकम्स सिग्मा बी पी वाई सो दिस इक्वेशन विल कॉल इट एज ए लेविस इक्वेशन गॉड इट सो दिस इक्वेशन इज लेविस इक्वेशन एंड दिस वाई इज नथिंग बट लेविस फॉर्म फैक्टर एंड पी इज नथिंग बट सर्कुलर पिच ऑफ ए गेर सो हियर द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई we need to find out so by using uh, several equation that depends on the tooth profile so why we need to find out uh, with respect to various tooth profile we have these equations you can easily find uh, these equation uh, in new design data handbook so here i have considered a new design data handbook so for uh, different uh, tooth profiles that is 14 and half degree involute that is 20 degree full depth involute that is 20 degree stub teeth so with respect to tooth profile you need to consider the value of y that is lewis form factor but one thing i will tell you whatever you design so uh, every design should be depends on a material so here in the same way while designing a spur gear the permissible stress in the lewis equation depends on the material pitch line velocity and loading condition that's that's why according to barth equation we will have an equation called sigma is equal to sigma not into cv the sigma not is nothing but allowable allowable stress is nothing but stresses that must be allowed with respect to load okay with particular load and uh, cv that is velocity factor so here for cv we have an a separate equations for that so for those also you can refer the design data handbook here i have mentioned uh, the equation uh, number so just uh, please uh, note all those equations so here you need to find out uh, the velocity mean velocity with the help of this equation if you find the velocity if the velocity is less than 7.5 meter per second you need to consider this equation and the velocity is less than up to 12.5 meters per second you need to consider this equation okay so with uh, once we substitute the sigma value with this uh, lewis equation we will get एफ टी इज इक्वल टू एफ टी इज इक्वल टू दिस इज सिग्मा नॉट बी पी वै इंटू सी वि सो दिस इक्वेशन इज कॉल्ड लेवेज इक्वेशन सो अट लास्ट सो दिस इक्वेशन इज कॉल्ड लेवेज इक्वेशन सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन we can easily find out the maximum bending stresses with respect to all parameters so here one thing you need to do so you need to understand the concept up to this so rest of the thing you will get everything in the design data and book so here i am not telling you that you should not uh, remember all those things it is bit complicated uh, to remember these equations so what you need to do is you just refer the design data and book in the examination itself you just solve this so sometimes uh, in the examination you will get it for 5 uh, to 6 marks hope uh, it will be helpful for you hope uh, you have understood the, all the concept what i have explained in the next video i am going to solve all the 
further problems uh, and as well as the uh, examination problems so stay tuned in the next videos so that it will be helpful for you so if you have not subscribed to my channel please please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon whenever i will upload my new video you will get the notification thank you